Welcome to the Embodiment Podcast. This show is for you if you see the body as more than a brain taxi. It's for people interested in coming home to the body as a holistic aspect of who we are and how we live. Episodes contain practical tips, exercises you can take away, and interviews with specialists from around the world. I'm your host for today, Mark Walsh. Okay, we've got something new out. It is free and it is extremely useful. Go to ethicalmarketing.coach ethicalmarketing.coach. Okay, what's it all about? So I've had this frustration for years that most of the people in the community that, I, that I'm part of, that I love, the embodiment community, are horrible at selling what they do. Uh, some even seem to take great pride in this. And I was one of those people. Like I didn't uh, do an MBA or a business qualification. I don't come from a business family. Uh, but I was you know, doing what I love and I was broke. And I was like, I want to earn a living. I want to be able to keep doing what I want to like, love. And I also realized that if I can't keep doing it, I can't get good at it. I can't keep learning because I have to do it part time. And also, like, if I think what I do is a good thing for the world, I, I need to let people know about it. You know, I didn't want to do like pushy American sales or anything like that. But I, I was kind of like, you know what? I think we should at least have this option. I want to offer this to people. Um, and then I realized, well, really, that is all marketing is, at least in its Jedi form. A key distinction I will be making for people on the free course we're doing is between Jedi and Sith marketing. So the free course um, is five 45-minute sessions from Monday. So it's five 45-minute sessions, totally free. And it's like my distilled ethical marketing knowledge. Now, you know, I'm not. Uh, a marketing guy, really. I'm just a guy who's had some success with things like the conference and the body facilitator course and body yoga principles, you know, a bunch of stuff. And I've kept in business doing what I love for 15 years now. And as I said, it frustrates the shit out of me when I have students who are good at something. It's good work. It's beneficial for them and for the world. And yet they can't make a living from it or they're just struggling, just getting by. And over the years, I started teaching what I was learning about marketing, the ethical way, the Jedi way, as I call it, um, to those people. And the first thing that needs to be done is a reframe. It's like, well, what is marketing? Because if you think of marketing as something that has to be sleazy, inauthentic, manipulative, pushy, then of course you wouldn't do it. Why would you? Like, you've got heart and good values. And, you know, I trust that if you're listening to this, like, that's the nature of this community, in my experience. So why would you do it? So the first thing that has to happen is people need to reframe that marketing can be that, but it doesn't have to be. And this is, it just brings hope to people. Like I've taught this in so many workshops over the last sort of five, at least five, five, six, seven years. And literally I started getting like standing ovations because people would be like, that's so good to know that I can sell what I love and it doesn't have to feel like shit. You know, I don't have to be unethical. I don't have to go against my values. And people were just deeply uh, hopeful and then of course enthusiastic because once the reframe happens once you realize that marketing can be about generosity just about offering people something i use this sandwich analogy that i'll, I'll teach in the free sessions which is really fun and it just shows how ridiculous being hung up about this stuff is it is fucking ridiculous to be hung up about this stuff once you really see through the bullshit and once you have this differentiation it's really important and the other one is just like basic strategies like no one teaches you this stuff. Like no one taught me this stuff at school. I had to work it out the hard way to work it out for myself. You know, I was helped by learning from people like Tad Hargraves or George Cow, who, you know, I'm in contact with still, or Julia Chantere, people I know and respect. Some of them have been on the podcast, of course. You've probably heard episodes with them. Um, you know, once I learned the basics, I realized it was quite basic. You don't need to be a marketing genius. You don't need to spend 50 hours a week on it. Uh, you just need to do stuff like this podcast. So if you doubt that marketing can be a win-win, that marketing can be ethical, like, well, what about this podcast? So it's a good example in that the point of this podcast, yes, has a business aim. You know, yes, I hope that some people listening to the podcast, I'll build my reputation, they'll build trust, we'll build relationship, and at some point they'll come to a course. And if they don't, that's also okay because I want the content of this podcast to be out in the world. That's why I have guests on and not just me. You know, there's people that I, I want to see uh, um, that what they have to say to be better known. So it's, it's good for the guests. It's good for me. It's good for the listeners. And in a way, it's an act of generosity, right? Because you know, each podcast costs, I don't know, say $100 to edit. And you think we've done about, you know, 300 and something episodes. It adds up. But for me, that's an act of generosity. It's an investment. It's a relationship builder. 
you know, building relationship with people who may buy from you, the may is important, um, authentically, building authentic relationships, um, giving value to people. So I try and be useful. I try and give podcasts that are going to be helpful. Like when I'm interviewing a guest, I'm thinking, how can I make this useful for the guest? How can I make this useful for me? How can I make this useful for the listener? That's it. You know, that's the heart of marketing or the fact that the podcast introduced me to all these cool people and we built a conference on that. You know, the conference is another example of um, uh, something that's positive. It's a win, win, win. It puts stuff out in the world. That's a positive thing, you know, and I made money from it. And I'm, I'm not going to be ashamed of that. I'm not, people have been trying to like shame me for that. Like you made money from the conference. I'm like, yeah, I did. It was years of work. It was a huge risk and it helped half a million people. Like why feel bad about that? Um, yeah, I think as a community, we really need to get over the utterly disempowering idea that marketing is always a bad thing, that it always has to be sleazy or pushy. Um, and actually, you know, it's really about empowerment for me to see people I love who do work I love not be able to put it out, not be able to offer it, not be able to make a living from it. If, if I'm honest, it pisses me off and breaks my heart. Like you can probably hear it in my voice. I'm like, ah, you know. I was just thinking about this today on the, as I walked um, back to my apartment to do this little podcast. Um, and I just go, I really want this stuff to be out there. Um, yes, we are selling a product off the back of it. I'll be completely transparent. Um, you know, we we'll did five free sessions. If you like it, you can buy a product. If you don't like it or if you can't afford the product, that's fine. I will still be giving away my absolute best stuff condensed into the most useful form. I mean, of the 45 minute sessions, I'd say there's maximum two minutes of sales and 43 minutes of just like me giving you the absolute best stuff I can. You know, I've seen tran students transform around this. I've mentored students, EFC students, EYP students. I've seen them change their mentality and I've seen the result that brings them in the world in terms of their business. You know, if I think of, say, um, Erica Chalkley, who did um, uh, with the Women Who Are Too Nice course, you know, she was a student of mine and she really got this stuff and she applied it. She changed the whole mentality around it. And it's so empowering to see the work she does with women now as a result of not having that shame in, in putting herself out there. And I, I don't think she'll mind me saying this, but I was talking to her about it and saying, you know, we're both raised British and fairly working class. And we just weren't taught this stuff at school. So it's no one's bad not to know it. But I would say that now it's out there, you know, why not learn it? You know, why not have a better 2021? Why not make, you know, a decent living? I'm, you know, I'm not trying to buy a yacht or anything, right? Like I'm, I'm not making that much money, but I am making enough money to live where I want, go to yoga, whatever I want, go to retreats, whatever I want, eat out, whatever I want. No one in my family has to worry about their medical bills or anything like that. You know, even in, even in Britain, that can be a thing. And it's, um, you know, I can help the people I want to help. I can be generous with the communities I want to be generous with. I'm not worrying about money. You know, that's a huge thing for me is that, I'm at a point where I'm not stressing and that just leaves me to be generous, to be creative, to have fun, to pursue my own practice, to put things out that I want to put out, not because I have to. And that that's a wonderful position to be in. And I, I wish that you all have that. I wish that every single listener has that place where they can work because they want to, not because they have to, that they can do the work they want rather than feeling like they have to sell out that they can have the energy and the space to be creative and for their own practice and to spend time with loved ones, you know, to have that balance in life and not to be constantly stressing about money, which was the first few years of my business, you know, 15 years ago. I remember what that was like and it sucked. Like it didn't make me more spiritual. It didn't make me a better person. You know, this sort of noble poverty thing. Um, it just made me stressed and um, that doesn't help. So, um, you know, I said, there's, there's no shame in having money. There's no shame in not having money. There is work to be done psychologically for most of us, particularly if you come from a cultural background like mine, where it was kind of, you know, put upon you, uh, where you didn't learn those skills in school or in your family. And that work, you know, that work can be done relatively quickly. Like I've found ways to do it, which are fast, which are effective. And, you know, it's me. So we have fun doing it, right? Like this isn't... Um, these, these free sessions aren't going to be like heavy. It's, it's, you know, sometimes it's tough love. Sometimes it's like uncle Mark giving you the message you don't want to hear, but you know, is true. Um, but most of it is just a riot. Like we just, I do like a whole dating analogy thing and you know, my style, people like it. It's fun. Actually, not everyone likes it, but, um, you know, if you, if you want to learn about marketing, if you want to reframe on marketing, 
if you want to like finally stop saying yeah i'm crap at marketing and actually get a bit better at it you know for free this is a great place to start um so you can look on the facebook group uh or you can look at ethicalmarketing.coach ethicalmarketing.coach that will tell you what the sessions are about there tell you when the times are uh, if you don't make them live they're free for 24 hours afterwards if you miss them and it's bite size like in 45 minutes you know that's probably a it's like a hardcore shot of walsh and uh, i'm looking at the shot glasses in my house now as i say that but um yeah anyway i'm gonna be there next week i will have fun uh, i will teach something that I guarantee you will be useful if you run a business of any kind, particularly if you're a coaches, yoga teachers, dance teachers, it will be super helpful. So um, you are very, very welcome. And that address once again, ethicalmarketing.coach uh, for all the details and to sign up. Some ways to uh, get more, to give back and to get more involved now. So um, the biggest request I have would be to share the podcast with your friends, people that you think would really enjoy it, um, email it to them, put it on your social media, tell them about it, old school. Um, yeah, really appreciate that. Equally, if you want to support us financially, you can go to Patreon, that's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash embodiment podcast and give us a dollar an episode. And I'd say they're well worth a dollar. So um, that's less than a pound if you're in UK-ish. So yeah, please go there. Um, on the embodyfacilitator.com website is where this is hosted. If you're most people, I think, listen to for iTunes. Um, iTunes, we'd certainly appreciate a review. The way iTunes works means that a review means more people will find it. iTunes regards it as more important for searches. So even a couple of sentences review really does help as a little thank you to us. And if you want to go to embodyfacilitator.com, you can see the actual you know links to the sites comments on there um the facebook group tends to be where people discuss things so if you go to uh, put in the embodiment podcast into facebook there's a page which is relatively quiet and a group which does have some discussion on so um yeah i will reply to things personally there so um also on embodiedfacilitator.com website uh, there's all sorts of freebies there there's videos there's free ebooks there's ebooks you can buy and of course, is our newsletter list. If you want to stay in touch and learn about things like the Embody Facilitator course and our, um, you know, our next Embody Yoga Principles teacher training, then go to that website and you'll see a little pop up, and you can um, get the newsletter through there. Okay, so I think they're the main ones. Tell your friends, pay us some money on Patreon, give us a review on iTunes, uh, send us your email if you want to be on the newsletter list, and get involved on the Facebook. There, Whew, bit long. Uh, pick whatever you like that works for you. Until next time, welcome home to the body.